DOJ Inspector General Michael Horowitz facing off with lawmakers again today over his report on the Clinton email investigation. Republican lawmakers pressing Horowitz over revelations of FBI bias. They prejudged the outcome of the Hillary Clinton investigation before the investigation ended, and these exact same FBI agents and attorneys prejudged the outcome of the Russia investigation before it even began. Do you believe this text shows political bias? Uh, I think as we found, it clearly shows a biased state of mind. February and March of 2016, Peter Strzok said, Trump's abysmal, Trump's an idiot, he's a bleeping idiot, Hillary should win 100 million to zero. Sounds to me like he hates the president. His text messages would certainly leave that as the implication. Horowitz confirming to Congress he's investigating whether embattled FBI official Peter Strzok, anti-Trump bias factored into the launch of the Bureau's Russia probe. Strzok's lawyer is also firing back against criticism, saying his client is not a conspirator, but instead, ready, a patriot. <laughs> All right, Kimberly, we're just getting word uh, from Strzok's lawyer. Apparently, he's been escorted out of the FBI office building yeah, today. Yeah, well, I hope after listening to Trey Gowdy today that he, like, speed dialed the best, like, Washington, uh, <laughs> D.C. defense lawyer, and I mean that seriously, because if you listen to um, Trey earlier today, it was quite compelling and persuasive. He was quite insistent and um, really fired up about the whole thing. And, I, you know, when I was listening to him, it's like, wow, he's really kind of, like, made the case against not only Strzok, but Comey, you know, and McCabe um, and Page. And it's just, it's bad. I mean, it's really bad for the United States, bad for the FBI, the system of justice. And, you know, Trey Gotti kept making the point, like, there can be no fairness in the process with this level of inherent bias very very biased and we're now learning that there were more fbi agents who were sending anti-trump texts and one maybe two of those lawyers wound up in the Mueller team dana um i mean this Mueller team is just packed full of these people at this point and they were removed for um anti-trump tests by Mueller only uh three or four months ago though yeah, I don't. I have to. Can I tell you something? Yes. I didn't follow that particular piece of it because I was following immigration all day. Um, I did note that today, Catherine Harridge said that Peter Strzok could actually willingly testify in front of Congress by the end of the week. That'll be possibly. big. So yeah, I'm looking. I will pay attention to that. I promise. <laughs> okay, I think we all will. Greg, what do you think about the IG hearing? Well, first of all, um, I believe that Strzok's texts are more incriminating in terms of conspiracies than anything in the Russian collusion thing. I was trying to think about this. You know, what, is the, what would be comparable to writing stop Trump would be Trump e texting, call Putin, we've got to stop Hillary. That's that, would, that, would, that, would, that would be the smoking gun. But the big story to me is always going to be Trey, Car Trey Gowdy's ever-changing hair. I knew it. Um, he's, like a sp he's, like a sp he's like Martin Landau in Mission Impossible. He has a suitcase full of sideburns and goatees, or like he's in the Americans. It's like he's got to go somewhere. He is a Russian agent. He, uh, Trey Gowdy, uh, that is not say, how he looks. Say CIA or something. Say, no, I think he works for the Russians. Uh, Donald, he, he's a national man of mystery. And by the way, he I, don't, is. I, don't, I think the beard is very becoming, although his politics sometimes is not so becoming. Look, yes. I, I actually did watch it. It's better than watching soap opera in the middle of the day. Uh, and the reason why sure. I watched it is because underneath all of the partisan rhetoric about the IG report, we learned that once again, we have an yeah. agency that has some dysfunction. And whether you focus on those emails, texts, mm -hmm. disgusted. I'm a former fe federal employee. Disgusted. Mm -hmm. Let's just say it. Yeah. Disgusted. Disgusting. It's disgusting whether it's, <laughs> it's, it's saying those things about Mr. Trump or saying those things about Ms. Cl Ms. Clinton. Mm -hmm. They are not hired to text each other about their personal dislike of a particular candidate, blah, blah, blah. That being said, the Office of Professional Responsibility must now do their job and remove those who are still in the employment of the federal government. Beyond that, I think this report tells us a lot about Mr. Comey's state of mind, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the fact that he was insubordinate, the fact that he believed that he alone could deliver sure. the so-called message to the American people, didn't have to check with his boss. Yeah. So there's a lot to learn in this. I haven't read all of it because, as you know, there are no pictures. <laughs> but, um, I read faster when I see pictures, but it, 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 is a, it is a story that we need to know. And by the way, you know, you and I can have a conversation about the Russians, and I can speak a little bit of the language now. Because I do believe that we need to get to the bottom of what happened in Well, I'm married to a Russian, so I can speak a little. And speaking of Comey, <laughs> the Inspector <laughs> General in confirmed that Comey's <laughs> handling of the classified memos is under investigation.
So everyone's under investigation at this point. You will be a, soon. Are we going to do another kumbaya at the end of this segment? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we agree. Yeah, sure. Can we agree, though? These, yes, can the we, FBI yeah. is in complete this Can we agree, though, that these, these, conf these things, they're like soccer? It's like... Zero zero at halftime. <laughs> like when you're watching these things, it's like ha it's like soccer. Did you prepare that zero one zero at halftime. I don't, I don't know if funny. this was a tie. Yeah. I think this was a slam dunk by the. Uh, but then the next one will be. A, uh, mm. You wait till a minute thirty eight and the guy scores and you're like, thank you. I yeah. want to turn. It's this like soccer off. where you cheer a pass. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think Trey Gowdy scored today. Yeah. Well, it's not just because of his goatee. goatee. <laughs> All right.